Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Ayan. Uh, in this video, we will talk about the female reproductive system of the dog. So firstly, we will take a look at the myel complexes and after that, we will open the abdominal cavity and look at the different divisions of the uterus and ovary. So let's get started. Here, from outside, of course, we can see the mammary complexes. In general, there are in dog five mammary complexes. We can uh, divide them into two, of course, on each side. Five on each side. That means in total we have five, uh, ten. So we can divide the mammary complexes into four, two on, on each side, four thoracic mammary complexes. One, two, three, four. So four thoracic four abdominal one two sorry just a minute yeah one two three four abdominal mammary complexes and two inguinal mammary complexes the two uh, thoracic mammary complexes uh, could be named as a cranial thoracic mammary complex how the thoracic mammary complex here for the abdominal we have the cranial abdominal mammary complex and the cauda abdominal mammary complex and finally of course we have the two inguinal mammary complexes because they are located in the inguinal region here. So now we will open the abdomen through the linea alba completely to look at the you know uterus and the ovary. So I will do it and come back to you. So as we say we open the abdominal cavity through the linea alba completely here you know while opening the linea alba and through the linea alba we can see the body of the mammary complexes here they are developed here somehow in this uh, dot so if we open the abdominal cavity completely like this uh, uh, as we learned before firstly we will see the greater omentum here covering all other structures inside the abdominal cavity there we have the spleen some parts of the liver and the stomach under it, of course. So let's focus more here on the organs inside the pelvic cavity. Here we can see the urinary bladder fixed, as we said before, uh, ventrally here to the linea alba and finally to the umbilical through the middle ligament of the urinary bladder. And the, uh, the urinary bladder is fixed to the lateral wall of the abdominal cavity by the lateral ligaments of the urinary bladder where we can find also the round ligaments of the urinary bladder inside it. This white line there, this is the round ligament of the urinary bladder. But it's not our topic for today. Today we will talk about the anatomy of the uterus, female reproductive system here. So the uterus uh, in this dog here, um, of course, uh, inside the pelvic cavity there at the beginning we have the vagina after the vagina we have uh, this area here where we can palpate thick uh, walled structure here at the cervix of the uterus so the, the uterus could be divided into the uterine cervix there we have here the uterine body and two horns between them we have the intercornual ligament there so cervix body two horns and uh, of course, if we follow the, the uterine horn to the side, of course, you will find at the end of it, uh, the ovaries, the ovaries. So here on each side, we have one ovary. This is the ovary embedded inside the ovaric porza, ovarian porza. This is the ovarian porza here. And of course, uh, the ovary is fixed uh, dorsally inside the abdominal cavity uh, through two ligaments. The first ligament, the first ligament extends between the ovary to the horn, to the horn called the proper ligament of the ovary. So proper ligament of the ovary to fix the ovary to the horn, to the horn, as you can see here. The second ligament extends between the ovary here, if you follow it, if you follow this ligament here, it will move fine dorsally and finally to the diaphragm, called the suspensory ligament of the ovary. Let me just show you, I mean this ligament here, this is the suspensory ligament of the ovary, of course, to fix or to hold the ovary toward the dorsal part of the abdominal cavity. So, ovary is here, embedded inside the ovarian porza, 
So let me just open the bores somehow here. The ovarian bores, as you know, guys, is located between the mesovarium of the ovary and the mesosalping. So here, if we open the bores somehow, you will see the ovary. So this is here, the ovary. Okay, this is the ovary. In this case, the left ovary, of course. Um, again, if we put everything like this, the ovary is located here. From the ovary to the horn, uterine horn, we have the proper ligament of the ovary. From the ovary to the uh, diaphragm, we have the suspensory ligament of the ovary, of the ovary. So the same for the uh, right side here. If we follow the right uterine uh, uh, horn here at the end, we can see also the ovary, ovary here. This is the ovary embedded inside the ovarian borza. Ovarian borza is here. Here we can see the uh, salpinx or the uterine tube, like it has like this zigzag form to transport, of course, the ovum produced by the ovary here to the horn, to the horn. And uh, it could also like other animals divided into isthmus, ambula, and finally next to the ovary, we have the infundibulum. The ambula is the location for the fertilization, fertilization. Again, this is here the ovary, in the same way we have the proper ligament uh, let me just show you. So this is here the proper ligament of the ovary to the horn and the suspensory ligament is that one of course here. Suspensory ligament of the ovary. Here we can see the opening. Can you see this opening here? This is the opening to the ovarian porza. This is the opening of the, to the ovarian porza. So if we uh, will, uh, would like to remove the ovary uh, you know, uh, ovary to me, in this case, you have you have to open the bores completely uh, to be able to see the ovary and allocate the ovarian artery, which comes from uh, from uh, the um, uh, abdominal aorta. And of course, at that time, you have to close it before removing the ovary. Uh, good. From the ovary, let's go to this side again. Uh, from the ovary to the doors to the doors or lateral wall of the abdominal cavity we have the where the ovary this is the ovary here so the mesentery here called the mesovarium mesovarium and from the mesentery or this uh, tissue found here extends between the lateral wall of the cervix the lateral wall of the body and the lateral wall of the horn so this all called the mesometrium this is the mesometrium both mesometrium and mesovarium, they form together what's called the broad ligament of the uterus. The broad ligament of the uterus or ligamentum latum uteri. Ligamentum latum uteri. Here, where we can find, of course, uh, the blood vessels, uh, uh, and here we mean, uh, you know, the arteries which are there to supply the uterus. You can see one of them here, and they will talk about this. From the lateral, service of the broad ligament of the uterus here you can see another ligament this ligament which extends between the lateral surface of this ligament here the broad ligament to the inguinal canal there there is the inguinal canal so this here called the round ligament of the uterus this one called the round ligament of the uterus this one here okay where to find the round ligament? Exactly from the lateral surface of the broad ligament to the um, you know, inguinal uh, ring or inguinal canal there. Okay? Again, um, for regarding the blood supply, of course, to the ovary, we have the ovarian artery, which we can see here next uh, to the suspensory ligament of the ovary. Um, if you follow and dissect it, you will find that it comes directly from the abdominal aorta. It uh, goes directly to the ovary and supplies it with blood. And before going to the ovary, it gives a branch caudally called the uterine branch. We can see it here. This dark structure here. This is the uterine branch uh, of the ovarian artery. And another branch in the dog here comes, this one here comes from the vaginal artery, caudally, uh, caudally there, called the uh, uterine, in all animals, called actually the uterine branch of the vaginal artery. But here, as there is no 
um, individual like uterine artery, they will name this branch from the vaginal artery as uterine artery. So that means here, in case of this dog or of the dog or carnivores, there are just two arteries for the uterus. That one here comes from the vaginal artery, we will name it uterine artery. And that one comes from the ovarian artery, we will name it as uterine branch of the ovarian artery. And these arteries are very important, and this is the structure of the arteries which we uh, uh, will look for if we want to, of course, uh, uh, remove the ovary or the uterus um, completely. In this case, you have to go to the lateral wall of the cervix at this level here, and you have to suture or to close the uterine artery at two levels, at two le levels on this side, and uh, again on the other side at the same time here, this one here. Uh, and after that, of course, you can cut the artery in the middle. And of course, you have also to suture and close the cervix of the uterus here. And after that, you can also uh, cut it. In this case, you can easily, you know, cut through the broad ligament of the uterus. And finally, here in this case, of course, you have to uh, look or find the ovarian artery. And we have also two. Um, very carefully close it at two levels and cut between them. After that, you can remove the ovary and the uterus. Of course, if you are planning to remove just the ovary, um, in this case, you have to close the ovary, ovarian artery and uh, the, you know, uh, you have also to suture uh, the artery coming from the ovarian artery in this area here at the level of the proper ligament of the ovary. Uh, so, and after that, you can remove the ovary and keep the uterus. And this is what's called ovarectomy. And if you're planning to remove the uterus, the ovary uh, and the uterus at the same time, here, what's called the ovarhistoctomy. Histoctomy. So, again, let's put everything in its position. Again, here, dorsal to the urinary bladder, we have the vagina there. After that, the cervix, uterine cervix the uterine body and the uterine horns uh, here. And from the uterine horn, here we can see the salping or the uterine tube, you know, uh, coming from the, uh, from the ovary. From the ovary, this is everything about the female reproductive system here. Let me just remind you that the space, the space located here and formed by the peritoneum located between the urinary bladder and the uterus here called uh, the excavatio vesico genitalis or the vesico genital pouch vesico genital pouch vesico genital pouch while of course that uh, excavatio or that space between the the, the uterus and the rectum, there is the rectum, this pouch here called the rectogenital pouch, the rectogenital pouch. This is everything we can talk about today. Thank you very much and see you later.